Hey everyone, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. Got another package in the mail today. Ordered some live fish and I've actually been holding off on doing this video for about a week now. I got these guys about a week ago and I was really excited and I really wanted to show you guys right off the bat but I wanted to see how they would do in my tank first before I announced that I got these fish. Uh, these fish, like I said, I've been wanting to order for so long and I finally got a hold of some and ordered some. And this was a pretty decent order. You know, usually I like to order three or less fish at a time just so I don't add too many fish in at once into my aquarium. But this time, you know, I felt like I was ready and ready to handle um, a good amount of uh, new fish in my aquarium. You know, I'm trying to get my breeding project going. I already have a few pairs that are breeding for me, but I need to get my koi breeding project going, and that's what I'm going to try to do with these guys. There's actually seven angelfish in there. Um, I got four kois, I got a black, and I got a half black and half silver. Luckily, the delivery method for these guys was overnight, so they're not too inc incredibly stressed out, but still, I wanted to get them in the water as quickly as possible, so I went ahead and I started the acclimation process. After about 15 minutes of them acclimating in the water, I went ahead and I started opening up the bag. This was pretty intense because this was a big bag. Angels Plus decided to put all the fish in one bag and there was a lot of water in there. But nonetheless, I went ahead and I got them out safely from the bag and I quickly went ahead and put them into their new home. As you can see, I did it gently. I wasn't too rough with the guys. Um, these guys are stressed out from shipping so I don't want to stress them out even more um, by pushing them out of the net too quickly. Now, as you can see, these guys, they're really decent size. I got these medium size, and they are absolutely stunning. Now, this is their first day, and they just came back from shipping. So, their colors are not going to be um, at their very best. Now, everybody should know this. Um, when you receive fish from shipping, if they've been, you know, shipped for a day or longer then they are going to lose their color due to stress so that's pretty normal so you know first glance they didn't seem to look pretty good but I knew um, that they would color up once they got adjusted and used to the water parameters and to the aquarium and the environment and their surroundings they will then slowly start to regain their color back and uh, they will look how they are, they are supposed to look. This is the black one that I bought from Angels Plus. Uh, I believe it is mixed. It's not fully black. On the side that you're looking at, you can see some hints of green at the top there. It has red eyes. This is the half silver and half black angelfish when I first got him. He was so stressed out that you can't see the black on the on the back of this angelfish this angelfish is supposed to be black and silver right now it looks like just a regular silver angelfish but that's not the case as you can see here it does look like it's half black and half silver I'm very pleased with this fish um, I really love the size of the fish they are just the right size they are just as big as uh, cheddar bob and red and as you can see they are pretty pretty shy uh, at first now this is the first day um, and they haven't really established a pecking order yet now a pecking order means that the angelfish will let each other know who's at the top of the uh, ranking system and they'll peck each other and uh, usually when that happens uh, the weakest angelfish will eat last or the uh, dominant angelfish will be the ones first to eat um, it's really sophisticated how they do that but pretty much um, if you're the biggest and you're the strongest then you shouldn't have anything to worry about and it looks like Cheddar Bob still holds that title as you can see he is just keeping that blood worms all for himself I always have to throw a second cube in there because Cheddar Bob always ends up eating almost half of the first cube 
all for himself and that's why he's getting so big is because he keeps getting power fed um and this is the best way to take care of my angels um but i'm showing you how all the angels that i had prior to the new ones were eating except for these new ones here they were just keeping to themselves i don't know what it was but as you can see uh they are just doing their own thing they're not worried about the food whatsoever um and the redness on these koi's are just absolutely amazing i really admire and appreciate how much hard work uh angels plus put into their co their line of koi angelfish i know i make so many videos of me you know talking about fish from angels plus it's because i really like their fish unfortunately i haven't really been able to keep any of their fish alive i don't know what it is i know a lot of you might say that my fish keeping skills are not the the best and uh you know i i do a lot of wrong things in the hobby but um i think it's just that they're not used to the water parameters um of my tank um, I live in Texas uh, these fish are from New York so the water quality might be a little different so I'm not sure what it is because I have my silver platinums here and I've had them for three years uh, those are fish that I've bred on my own um, and although they're not that big they really are three years old they're just really small because they were in a small tank for too long and that's what happens when you keep a fish uh, in a small tank for too long is that their insides continue to grow but the outside of their body um, does not grow properly or does not grow at all and that's what you consider a stunted uh, angelfish and that's why um, I decided to actually give away um, some of my fish to Petco and PetSmart um, you can check out that video down below in the description i will post the link for that so you might be wondering hey master aquatics why did it take you a week to upload this video well the reason is is that i paid a good amount of money for these fish i paid around 300 dollars for these fish and i just wanted to make sure that they did okay and i, I really wanted to put a lot of attention and effort into these guys and I didn't want to get some fish and then show them to you guys and then you know they just die and then you know I have people uh, you know tell me that I'm a bad fish kid. I didn't want to go through that so I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay before I showed the fish to you guys um, and they are doing well I mean these clips right here are of the next day after putting them into their aquarium they still didn't re regain all of their colors but i can tell that they're they were doing better on this day because they were a little bit more active they were swimming and they were coming towards the front of the glass and they were hanging out with the other angelfish so that's always a good sign and a good indicator that things are going well in the aquarium and um i was just really happy at this point now there was something that did bother me now with angels you know you will have some aggression even in large groups and there's not really much you can do about that um and i believe the aggression uh caused this angel fish to lose his tail and i really was not too happy about that i was not happy about that at all i was really disappointed because it's really hard to get angelfish to get their fins to grow back especially when it's been eaten down all the way down to this to the bone i guess you could say um the only thing that i could do was put this fish into its own tank and uh hopefully it lives i don't have clips of me putting it in my 20 gallon tank but you can take my word for it I ended up taking out that fish and putting it in a 20 gallon tank all the other angel fish looked fine like all the other koi's they looked fine they didn't really have any bite marks or anything like that so I've never seen angel fish uh, bite a tail off of another angel fish like that so um, the only perpetrator that I could imagine would do such a thing would probably be the Philippine Blue because the Philippine Blue is always laying eggs and that that angelfish gets really aggressive um, when there's eggs and babies around so but 
you know, I've never seen the Philippine Blue go after the new Koi's, so I don't know what could have happened. I know something had to have happened. And uh, again, my only theory is that um, this angelfish was attacked. More than likely, it was probably attacked when the lights were out um, while they were sleeping. That's usually when uh, bad things happen with fish. That's why most of the time when you see a dead fish, it's in the morning when you turn on the lights. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but at least from my experience, that's how it's been. So... I don't know about you guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, so again, I'm hoping this fish makes a full recovery. He's in a quarantine tank, 20-gallon tank, by himself. So far, he's been eating flakes. So far, he's been doing good. I've been adding Melfix in there. Melfix is pretty much my go-to medicine uh, for everything now. I don't use anything else. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions out there as to um, better medications to repair fins, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm reaching out to you guys for tips on that because I know there are a handful of people that watch my videos that will be more than happy to to help me um, but anyways I think that's gonna be it for today's video um, I promise I won't ever leave you guys hanging again for so long without a video um, to the people that love the videos that I put out uh, makes me happy knowing that um, I'm doing these videos for you guys and as soon as I put it out you guys are gonna watch them you guys are great um, anyways my name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, young God, for the blessing. Ay.